Mid Journey dropped some incredible updates, which basically is the Mid Journey 5.2. And today I'm going to show you what are the latest future is and what they are capable of. First, I'm going to show you how to activate Mid Journey 5.2. All you need to do is type in slash settings, press enter, enter again. And this is Mid Journey 5.1. And here we got Mid Journey 5.2. They also added the high variation mode versus low variation mode, which I'm going to talk about a little bit later. But now we're going to cover up the exciting updates first. So let's check out those. Type in a prompt slash imagine, press enter. I'm going to copy paste the prompt that I already crafted, press enter. So I upscaled one of the models and as you can see, we got new buttons going on and we got Vari Strong and Vari Subtle. So instead of putting the regular make variation button that it was in Mid Journey 5.1, they changed up in two versions. And we also have like zoom out two times versus zoom out 1.5 times and custom zoom. And you also got the make square. So we're gonna check the zoom options first. I'm gonna try to zoom out once and zoom out 1.5x. So this one is the 1.5x zoom out. Now you can see the full body of the model. And here we got two times zoom out where basically the model is even more far away. And it has that really interesting circle in the background. And now you can see that also mid journey is completing that image with different kind of ideas. So I'm gonna go with the first option. And now you can also zoom again out two times or 1.5 times you can do this infinite amount of times and it's gonna bring some crazy results and check this out it zoomed out even more and it looks insane so you can push the boundaries quite a bit check this one out and the AI comes up with new ideas for example in this situation it's adding another model and the whole image goes inside of a cathedral and then we also got the custom zoom so I gotta click on it and I can type in more prompts what to include when basically it zooms out and I gotta go and add marble statues and we got some new results but these are not marble statues but at least it added some models now i'm gonna make a square out of this portrait let's see what happens it added four variations where it completed with four different elements in order to make it square all right, now let's talk about the stylization. They pushed it up all the way to a thousand. I'm gonna show you here what I'm talking about. So we got this prompt here and this is on 250. I'm gonna copy paste all the way to line line S and right now I'm gonna add space and type in one and I'm gonna do another one and I'm gonna push it all the way to a thousand. So the main idea with the style, the more you push it up, for example, to 800, 900, the more control you're going to give to the AI to modify and stylize the image, the prompt that you basically type in. And it mainly is going to generate what the AI want to generate. But if you push it down, for example, on style 10 or style 100, you get more and more control over the AI. So you're going to need to craft the prompt accordingly in order to produce something exactly that you want. So this is a perfect example. You can see here we got the s1 so in this example you can see abstract modern brutalist buildings meanwhile in the style a thousand the buildings are totally different i didn't ask for it so in this scenario the ai does exactly what the ai wants i'm going to show you the prompt here what we're talking about we got epic modern architecture structure so in the style one it gives me exactly that in a style a thousand it doesn't give me anything like that which is pretty sick but uh again it's way different rather than this one. now of course this has its own issues with the models versus a style a thousand the models are way more clear and crisp and of course they are like close up but mainly this is the logic behind you know the style now there's a very very important update that they made and this is a new prompt basically it's the slash shorten so i'm going to show you i'm going to type in slash shorten enter and here i'm going to copy paste the prompt that i created before Control c press Control v so basically this is going to simplify the prompt and it's going to give me the correct prompt so as you can see here we got a couple of prompts here the looking and the fashion and the dresses which are inaccurate so these are some of the prompts that the ai doesn't recognize so it basically cut it off and it gave me some alternatives so check these out these are more simplified because these new mid journey versions think really simple they want simple prompts so basically in these examples you can see some really simplified alternatives 
You also have a button here, show details. And here you can see the prompts, how effective they are, all the way from the strongest, for example, sunglasses, tech wear, all the way down to the weakest prompts, which are not that significant in this composition. So anyways, I'm gonna copy paste the first prompt. By the way, you can click on also one to upscale, but this won't include the aspect ratio or the style. So I'm gonna do this manually and check these out. These are way more insane than what we did before. Now I see that it has six fingers instead of five. Now let's take a look at the Verai Strong versus Verai Subtle. I'm gonna do it first with the Verai Strong. It basically puts the model in different position. It changes up the sunglasses, the clothes and everything, but the character on its own, it's really, really similar, but it actually do gets out of the comfort zone. So now we're gonna check out the Verai Subtle and the Verai Low leaves the model in the same position and it just modifies the clothing, the sunglasses, and mainly keeps the character in the background. And it also fixed the hands. Now it has five fingers instead of six. Not but least, we're going to talk about the high variation mode versus low variation mode. Now here, the difference is really, really subtle. So I included on this picture both variation modes that I generated. The question is, which is the high variation mode and which is the low variation mode? The left four images basically is the high variation mode and the four images on the right side, basically it's the low variation mode. Now you need to pay attention on a lot of small details in order to find the difference, but I recommend you to stay on the high variation mode because I think it gives better results. And these are the updates in Mid Journey 5.2. Thanks for watching.